Good morning traders and welcome to the daily call today Thursday the 1st of November. Before we get started as always please understand that any advice in today's session is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Okay let's have a look at what's happened in yesterday's session. We had a locally from uh, Australia we had the CPI number come in at 0.4 percent that was a little bit under the forecast of 0.5 while the trimmed and uh, mean CPI came in at a 0.4 percent as was forecasted. Aussie dollar yesterday didn't have much movement uh, in a fairly narrow trading day uh, there's still about an hour or so to go on today's candle but it's only moved around about 48 pips for the session. From Canada we saw the GDP number come in at 0.1% uh, that was up a little on the forecast of 0% uh, Canadian dollar not much movement also in what was really a, a very quiet session it's only a couple of movers yesterday is probably the GBP was the main one uh, but the uh, Canadian dollar not much movement there either. Finally, we had from Japan, they were announcing their monetary policy statements and uh, the news that we got was pretty much more of the same. The Bank of Japan will continue with its uh, quantitative easing program aiming to achieve the price stability target of 2% for as long as is necessary. The other noting point is that they will also uh, maintain their current extremely low levels of interest rates for both the short and long term rates uh, for an extended period of time. So that was the two major uh, highlights. Japanese yen did not move much yesterday as uh, this message has been ongoing for quite some time right now and it didn't really shock the market at all. Alright, let's have a look at our chart of the day. Incidentally, yesterday's chart of the day shot up from the levels where I showed you, uh, but we didn't get a price action um, reversal pattern, so we didn't get an opportunity to take that uh, trade. Alright, so today's chart looks actually quite similar to yesterday's. It's the Euro USD though, and we could be forming a potential double bottom it's not confirmed because if the market continues to move downwards well then it was never a double bottom so what we need at the very least before we can attempt to trade it like a double bottom is we need to uh, see a price action reversal pattern occur in this area here because this is the hot zone it's at the correct level so if I can produce an inside candle with today's candle which has not started at the time of this recording which is will be situated where my cursor is so if we can produce an inside candle today well then tomorrow we can basically attempt to trade this one in the upward direction if we get the break in in our direction all right so there you have it add this one to your hot list euro usd daily time frame is our chart of the day Okay, what's coming up in the session, which is about to kick off, it's an actually quite a big session for any uh, sterling traders or GBP traders. Uh, kicking off at 8.30 from the UK, we have the manufacturing numbers which are due at 8.30. And then at 11 o'clock we have the, um, the inflation report, the bank votes and the monetary policy all rolled out in one so that vote is very important to see how that panel is divided towards interest rate increases or decreases they're not expecting an increase uh, but the vote could be crucial especially with all the Brexit negotiations happening in the background and then at 11.30 half an hour later Governor Carney will be speaking for the Bank of England uh, summarizing what has happened in, in the half an hour that's preceded it finally at one o'clock in the morning from the US we have the ISM manufacturing numbers and that wraps up the major data for the session guys as always please feel free to contact us if you do have any questions follow me on Twitter at chatfx for trade setups and breaking news most importantly hope you all have a fantastic trading day I'll talk to you tomorrow for the daily call bye for now